Okay. So. This is a history YouTube channel. And we have been living through history. The coronavirus outbreak has affected so many lives. Uh, in fact, pretty much everyone in uh, Scotland, the UK, the world has been affected in some way by coronavirus. A lot of people have died uh, all around the world. In the UK, more people have died from coronavirus than the Blitz. And we have seen our lives altered in a massive, massive way. We've been in our homes for uh, many, many, many weeks. When we go out, it's either to a supermarket, a pharmacy, or uh, a doctor's office. We've been asked to stay uh, six feet or two meters away from everyone else wherever possible and the vast majority of us have stuck to that thankfully. If you're not furloughed uh, you're working from home and it's opened up the possibility of home working for a much larger group of people than ever before. Students uh, are now uh, working from home and uh, as someone who was a homeworking student with the Open University, it must be a bit of a culture shock for a lot of uh, people. But I know it is a culture shock for a lot of people. And this being a channel mainly concentrating on Edinburgh and Lothians, it is going to change Edinburgh and the Lothians uh, in many, many ways. We're going to see uh, changes to our streetscape, which are going to become permanent. Uh, like the widespread use of segregated bike lanes, uh, wider pavements, perhaps even uh, pedestrianised streets, all of which to accommodate uh, social distancing and cycling. And I think the latter, cycling, is going to continue on well after the pandemic. More people have bought bikes than ever before because public transport isn't safe and uh, the roads uh, are quieter and the fact that you know we have been discouraged from driving because you know the roads cannot handle that much traffic so I suspect people are going to start cycling find it uh, you know useful and handy and good as a form of transport and cycle more so that's a positive thing to come out of this and I say that as a um, person who is a fan of urbanism and cycling so yeah but alongside that we need to remember that a lot of people have died and a lot of people have suffered and a lot of people are suffering and we need to remember that that in this moment of history nothing is ever going to be the same anyway on to news about this particular channel. This video is going to be uploaded on the 27th of May, which is a Wednesday, and the day after that is the 28th. And on the 28th, uh, the lockdown rules are going to be changed. Under the new lockdown rules in Scotland, we will be able to uh, start uh, walking and cycling and wheeling if you're in a wheelchair uh, for up to five miles from home. We we're able to go to parks to uh, sit and have picnics and stuff like that uh, and we will be able to meet at least one person from another household as long as we stay six feet two meters away from each other. I must stress on behalf of the Scottish Government that you know uh, social distancing still has an effect. Stay two meters or six feet away from everyone else where you can and uh, if you are um, uh, going into a shop or an enclosed space or a form of public transport, please, please, please wear a mask. But all of this means that because I can go five miles away from home by bike at least, uh, it means that I can now start doing videos. The subject of the videos will be limited because of uh, distance 
and uh, the lockdown restrictions, I won't be able to, say, visit a museum or go further than five miles from my house, but five miles from my house at least covers the majority of the city centre, for example. I apologise for my cat. She is being very, very needy right now. But all this means that I can now start making traditional uh, videos where I go out to a place and talk about it. So, yes, exp expect videos uh, in your subscription box very, very soon. I will leave the subject of the first video that you will see next Wednesday uh, a surprise, but I do hope to see you in some way, shape or form soon. So, yeah, stay subscribed.